Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Friday, December the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the SkyCam network from the Alpha SkyCam network at ABC 3340 as we look at Trustful. And we do see some cirrus clouds, especially as we look to the south and southeast. And uh, we can see the on the water vapor imagery, we can see that the clouds over the Gulf of Mexico are kind of coming up into South Alabama, and those have helped keep temperatures up a little bit down in the southern part of the state. Uh, but uh, we're watching the trough and the closed low coming out of northern Mexico, and that's going to be producing a surface low in the Gulf of Mexico that will be moving across uh, South Georgia over the weekend and bringing us some wet weather. For today, though, surface high pressure is in place, stretching all the way from Virginia across the southeastern U.S. to Arkansas and northeast Texas. Temperatures this morning starting out once again on the chilly note with uh, temperatures generally in the upper 20s across central Alabama. But do note that uh, we see the lower 40s across northwest Florida, the Florida Panhandle and South Alabama. So those clouds helping to keep things a little warmer down there. Radar showing that we're beginning to see the developments of the surface low over the northwest Gulf of Mexico. And uh, that certainly uh, will you know, foreshadows the development of the surface low and bringing moisture to our area, but it uh, the day will be dry today. QPF-wise, we're looking for on the order of probably a nice one to two inch rainfall over much of central Alabama, uh, the rainfall tapering off to the north. And also we could see a bit of a band of uh, on the order of two to four inches across the southern part of Alabama, and that could lead to some flash flood issues because that's the same area that had on the order of uh, three to six inches of rain with the last system. So uh, the uh, Tallapoosa and Alabama rivers running pretty full down there. Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking any uh, organized severe thunderstorms for today. And on day two, the, there is a possibility of some thunderstorms over north Florida primarily. All right, the 06 GFS model run. And uh, it's nice that the uh, GFS and the European are in pretty good agreement. We'll take a look at some of those maps. Here comes, uh, this is the uh, upper air 500 millibar pattern for Saturday at midday. And here comes our little closed low across Texas. And, of course, that will help to uh, create a uh, storm system in the uh, northwest or north central Gulf of Mexico. And that should bring a rain shield up our way. I think uh, Saturday morning will be dry to start the day, and the European in good agreement with uh, the GFS on the position of the rain and the surface low, so confidence pretty high. That uh, little uh, closed low opens up into a wave uh, over the Carolinas uh, by Sunday, and so that should move the surface low up uh, basically into the vicinity of the Outer Banks and uh, near uh, the coast of Virginia with a cold front trailing back into Florida. And uh, the rain should move on out, but I don't think the clouds are going to move on out, so we're going to stay cloudy. And once again, the European in good agreement with uh, the position of the low and the, the rain shield. So, again, confidence pretty high. We see uh, a bit of a... Um, Trough, uh, well, the, the long wave trough position is over the eastern half of the country, and so we see a little amplification of that. And you see the 540 line coming all the way down into northern Louisiana and getting down into the vicinity of uh, just a little north of Birmingham. And once again, the GFS and the European, especially when you kind of look at the 540 uh, thickness line there, uh, they're in pretty good agreement with each other. But that's when they begin to diverge, unfortunately. So confidence in the second half of the forecast is not quite as high. By Tuesday, uh, the moisture is out of here. And by the way, on Monday, we may see the GFS is suggesting a little moisture with the cold air. We may see a few snow flurries, but nothing of any significance. By Tuesday, uh, the pattern is flattening just a little bit, but still it's a relatively cold pattern. You can see the 540 line down across Tennessee. By Wednesday, we're watching another system, uh, another short wave dive into, uh, dive down southward along the Rockies, uh, and that uh, will begin to create a surface low a little further north this time, not in the Gulf, but over uh, west Texas and uh, north central Texas. That uh, trough 
amplifies as it comes into the central part of the U.S. into the mid-Mississippi River Valley. And with it, we'll see a good surface low develop and move into the Ohio River Valley. And so look for a nice round of rain once again on uh, Thursday as uh, the Gulf opens up nicely ahead of this next system. Now, that one moves quickly, but of course we see another one coming into the Dakotas there right behind it, another short wave. So the cold northwesterly flow pattern continues, and you can see the 540 line down into Tennessee. And once again, it looks like the moisture is getting out of here slowly, so it doesn't look like we're going to see a rapid clearing, and that's a week from uh, today. Now, going out into voodoo country, uh, we've been seeing the GFS be very consistent with a cold pattern. Now the GFS is suggesting a change. And of course, you're always suspicious when you know those kind of changes come about. But by the 6th of January, as we're getting into the first few days of uh, 2014, we see a ridge developing. And that's a little bit warmer of a pattern than what the GFS has been suggesting over the past several days. And then when we get out to the 11th, whoa, wow, look at that. Uh, a nice trough over the... Uh, uh, eastern slopes of the Rocky Mountains, and that puts a nice southwesterly flow over the eastern half of the country, and that definitely would be a nice warm-up. So uh, a little bit, uh, don't get out the Bermuda shorts just yet, but uh, <laughs> it's certainly a, a nice warm-up, uh, and uh, that could uh, uh, spell a bit of a stormy period for us sometime in the middle of January as, uh, as we see that warmth and then a, a trough kicking out of the western U.S. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Friday. Expect to have the next one posted first thing on Saturday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>